News at Next, on Best Galaxy Australian Breaking News, Saturday, the 9th of December 2020. <laughs>
New 7, the veteran animation genius has said he's retiring, but as he's changed his mind before, should anyone take his word for it? We try. Okay guys, it's time to commercial break, after a few seconds. Cut the off commercial. Cut the off commercial. I said cut the off commercial. Okay, 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 Trussis. I will next watch for better commercial. Welcome aboard Airlink, your quick link from the terminals to destinations such as Leighton Stepford Road and Barely. Ride our quiet and comfortable Class 755s or our speedy 802s. Ride in style in first class which gives free access to the lounge at Stepford Central and Airport Central. Um, that's still waiting to be built, so uh, yeah. If you're on a budget, ride our standard class, complete with USB ports for each passenger and comfortable seats. Airlink, your quick link to the terminals. The real life fictional drama in lives behind the law in the show that is making America cry. These IF-75s are a mess and we're already three months late with the UCC addendum after we lost the 8th Circuit paperwork the first time around. Jeez, I really need to whack off. Law. They play hard and they work hard. Really hard. Catch Wednesday. Before it catches you. Coming soon to the Los Santos Convention Center, it's Mike Andrews! Poor people, stop complaining! Start living! You can't take the money with you when you die! Even I can't! He's changed millions of lives with his book, Rags Are Riches. This all-day seminar features workshops on cooking potatoes, dumpster diving, huffing paint, bathing alternatives, and pharmaceutical baking. Instead of complaining about being poor, lady, enjoy it. Mike, I can't feed my kids, and the rents do. Whoa, bitch, settle it down. Are you saying this ain't the greatest country in the world? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, everyone. USA, USA, USA. Here Mike's favorite program, such as There's No Rich People, The Rich Are Miserable, Play Harmonica, and Expect Less, Achieve More. See Mike Andrews live for only $200, payable in 10 installments. Reserve your seat today. I love my kids more than anything. Which is why mom keeps me clinically obese, so I won't run away. That's where Kate comes in. My sister's son got to 18 and just ran away. She was brokenhearted. Now me and little Joshua celebrate every day with Cake. He's my number one and he knows it. Now he's not running anywhere. Why not celebrate with Cake every day? Celebrate Cake. Germs are running scared. Last year, communists killed 34 hard-working Americans. But germs killed over 25 million people. Your home, much like America, is constantly under attack from germs. And we all know what germs cause dyslexia and leprosy. Thank goodness, there's blocks. Blocks sends germs running like refugees. Just add a few tablespoons to your child's bath and put them in the tub. <laughs> Presto! That tingling sensation is germs dying. Now your child has rosy red skin and and is 100% germ-free. Now that means little Jimmy won't catch a cold or ask difficult questions about reproduction. That's even great for Rover's breath. <laughs> now we're sleeping peacefully, free from germs. Blox is endorsed by the Society for a Cleaner America. It uses a patented formula developed by the Pentagon for use in the field. Now it's available for your home. <laughs> Some germs hate acid, some germs hate bleach. Lox kills indiscriminately.
cut the off commercial. I'm sorry. I'm going to walk. San Andreas just can't get enough of the Glory Hole theme park. Glory Hole. We're strangers become friends. Glory Hole. You don't need to know me. It's the place for magic and adventure. We all like speaking rodents to entertain and educate our kids. And now with Jerry Gerbil, the kids have someone they can really relate to. Kids, come and play. I've got puppies to show you. Yay, it's Jerry speaking rodent. Go on, kids, have fun. I know it's safe. Jerry's wearing a latex bodysuit. See you later, Mom. We're off to have fun with strangers. Glory Hole. Ride the log flume. Live the adventure of the flaming screen machine. Glory Hole Theme Park. Glory Hole. Open every day till 3 a.m. Come live the mystery. We're back guys, it's been a few seconds, now let's get to Australian news. Australian News 1 People in New South Wales sweltered through a heatwave on Saturday, as a cool change brought relief to southern states. Sydney Airport reached 43.5 C at 1.01 pm, which is a December record. The NSW Ambulance Service received hundreds of extra calls. A southerly change was expected to sweep through Sydney between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. and cool things down. The Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, flagged plans to return immigration to what he believes is a sustainable level after COVID. A man was in a serious condition after being bitten by a shark near Gladstone in Queensland. And tennis showman Nick Kyrgios confirmed he will miss the 2024 Australian Open due to injury. Australian News 2 the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, has flagged a major plan to return immigration to what he believes is a sustainable level after a post-COVID influx. Immigration will be scaled back to what are considered sustainable levels hand-in-hand -hand with a crackdown on abuses of Australia's intake of overseas students. Australian News 3 For many Sydneysiders, FBI Radio is a cultural institution. And for those in the music and media industry. It has been a launching pad for bands, for careers and for a whole social scene. From its humble beginnings in the mid-90s when test broadcasts would go out in three-month-long blocks each year, to officially launching as a full-time broadcaster based in Alexandria in 2003, to that fateful moment when the station asked Richard Branson for a million dollars, FBI Radio has a long and colourful history. We speak to some who helped start it and others who have kept it going. Australian News 4, the federal government spent $52 million on a failing welfare calculator even after being told there was a more accurate, simple and reliable option available. In all, Services Australia paid $191 million over four years to the multinational company Infosys for a calculator that processed only 784 aged care claims before being written off as a failure in late July. And finally, Australian News 5, Australia's freedom of information regime has become dysfunctional and broken after years of funding and resourcing neglect and chronic backlogs caused in part by a pro-secrecy culture within the bureaucracy, a Senate committee has found. The recent resignation of the Freedom of Information Commissioner, who was less than 12 months into a five-year term, has also been described as a symptom of the troubles faced by the system designed to make federal government processes transparent. Australian News 6, it has become one of Australia's most convoluted and damaging political sagas, polarising the public. An allegation of rape, fiercely denied, in a ministerial office in Parliament House has been discussed in news reports, interviews, speeches, and reams of commentary. It was examined in an aborted criminal trial covered in four separate inquiries and now the first of several related civil cases is again calling witnesses and poring over evidence. OK. 
Okay guys, I will see you next Thursday for the best Galaxy Australian breaking news.